So for Christmas, my wife bought me this awesome piece of kit, my Lego Atari. Now there's one thing I thought about once I put it together, I was like, man, this thing doesn't actually turn on and work like an Atari. Man, I actually have the means to do this because I have got a little Atari. So this is Atari flashback, sort of like the little Nintendo classic consoles and stuff like that. Never really played it and I figured, man, I got no problem pulling this apart and actually dissecting it and putting it into the Lego. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that now. I'll open it up, it has this cool little fella that folds out of here. Pull this apart real quick and show you exactly how I put the motherboard from this little Atari flashback console into this Atari. This whole thing comes out as one. I had to move the original switches from this side, they have the rubber bands on them, over to this side here in order to be able to give myself the little arm. It works pretty well. I've just hot glued it onto the back here and wired it to the board. There's two things I've done here is I've made space in the back in order to be able to fit my RCA connectors and also my power connector. Everything's had to be unsoldered off the boards and rewired. Now I had to make space in order for the control ports. I'll show you shortly at the back how the control ports work and also how I got this little LED to sit in there. I've had to gut out quite a bit of the Lego in this section in order to be able to make these boards fit and everything. This board here is actually hot glued onto the board of Lego that holds in the top of this board. And this board here is actually hot glued so that way the controller ports don't move around as well. Also as you can see here I've had to make some space in order for the wires to fit through. This space actually doubles up as a little bit of extra space in order for those RCA connector board to fit correctly. I have seen some builds that what they've done is they've put actually a Raspberry Pi so they can load sort of any game they want. But they've had to get rid of this fella in the middle in order to put the Raspberry Pi in there. Now I was contemplating that and sort of like keeping some of the, the aspects of this intact so that way the boards could screw to all this stuff. But I figured well you know if I can pull the boards apart and custom make it the way I want it. A, I can keep this fella and also I can make it look like that all the ports are somewhat supposed to be there. Now when I put this front board back in, the only thing we can see wiring wise is just this little rainbow wire down here, which I don't mind. It can actually be tucked up a little bit so you don't see it so much, but it looks somewhat retro with the rainbow wiring anyway. And I get to keep this fella in the front. Now let's have a look at the ports on the back. Now what I've been able to do with the ports on the back is create a little bit of space by moving some Lego around and finding different Lego to fit into the pieces. I've had to source a few little flat tiles in order to make it work. And the cool thing is, is I've been able to get this little hole sorted out for the light. Now, where I got that from was actually on this Lego set down in this corner, a little two by one brick. Now this two by one brick down here just swapped it with this, this one here in, in order to be able to make that little hole for that on off switch. And because it came with the only one Lego controller, I didn't need the other port on the other side. So I've made way for the electrical adapter and also the RCA ports, which I think is pretty fair. Okay, so now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna plug this thing in and see if we can get it working. Once again, back is the incredible. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm actually really happy with how this little piece of kit's turned out. The one thing I love about it the most is the fact that I found a way to make that power switch on the Lego actually turn on the power for the Atari itself. And also the fact that if you look at the back, it looks like it's part of the Lego set. That was my intention, um, and I think it came off really well. So that's it for this Lego build. Make sure you stay tuned for the Qatar project that I have going on as well. That's going to be an awesome little piece of kit that I can perform on stage with. Let's get it.